Okay, so what we're going to do now is um, get a bit of leaf litter and we'll put it on, on top of that trap there to make him uh, look a bit more natural. So, um, yeah, you go to the opposite side of where you got your trap to pick up your leaf litter. Make sure there's no sticks. No nick solid. Okay, okay, so what we do now is uh, dress the side up, just dress that set up a bit more. You've got some nice clean leaf litter, if there's anything like that, take it out. No stones, no sticks. little sticks gone in there so we'll give them the flick. So what we're effectively doing here is making a platform for the dog to stand on. Now there's two ways we can do this. You can just use the platform as it is, or you can find the centre of your plate and just make a, a little open area like that where you want the dog to stand. Okay, and the dogs will follow the path of least resistance. He'll come forward and he'll see that open spot and he'll come and he'll aim his foot at it. Okay, the idea of the strip stick is when the dog gets to this point here, he knows the, uh, the sniff distance of a dog is uh, 38 centimetres. Okay, so uh, he can't get to the sniff distance to smell the lure on that tree, so he knows he's got to tread over this stick. I prefer just to have it like that, but different people do different things. Okay, so I've got a nice platform there, and the dog's standing here, his nose is here, and he knows to get to that lure up there, he's got to tread over this trip stick and that'll bring him right onto the plate. Okay, so that's reasonable. That's a reasonable set there. Nothing fancy, but it'll do. Okay, the next thing to do is um, get me lures. So I'll go out and prepare those lures and I'll be back shortly. 